This segment is sponsored in part by Pepsid, a proud sponsor of Meals on Wheels America. Cartier Brown is a very busy lady. She's a celebrated chef and host of the popular Food Network show, Delicious Miss Brown. Her debut cookbook is a New York Times bestseller. And tonight, she is attending the 36th annual Chef's Tribute to City Meals on Wheels. She'll be there on behalf of Pepsid, a proud supporter of City Meals on Wheels and Meals on Wheels America. Cartier Brown joins us this morning live from the couch to talk about the <laughs> fundraising event, her passion for cooking, and all the wonderfulness in yes. between. Welcome. Yes. That's so Hi, great ladies. To see you. Yeah. Great to be here. So let's start with the fundraiser. Tell us why this event is so important to you and why you decided to team up with Pepsi to help fight food insecurity. Uh, I mean, first of all, there's going to be plenty of food there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm a chef, you know, and it's important for me as a chef to, I mean, I teach people how to cook, but how is that possible if they don't have access mm. to fresh and accessible foods? Mm -hmm. And so that's what City Mills and Wheels of America is all about. Yeah. And Pepsi is actually the number one heartburn brand sponsor tonight. And they're sponsoring $50,000 to help combat food insecurity. Wow. Yeah. So that, I mean, it was a no-brainer to team up with them. Okay, and now yeah. this partnership that you have with Pepsi is a yeah. personal one to you. Uh, can you talk yeah. to us a little about yeah. your struggles? I mean, for a chef, yeah. it's like almost poetic. I mean, okay, so I'm a southern chef. I cook, <laughs> I fry. Very I, important I mean, to know, that's you right. You know, spicy yeah. foods, fried foods, I do it all. Yes. And I mean, to do that and actually do my job on camera, I have to have Pepsi right. here. <laughs> I mean, because I can't do that if I'm combating heartburn. So right. Pepsi oh, gets rid of it yeah. immediately, and that's why I absolutely love it. So it's a very natural partnership. We need absolutely, them. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and then they're the number one doctor recommended um, brand of heartburn medicine. So I mean, it was a no-brainer to team up with them because I do really use it every yeah. single day. Yeah. You know what's funny about Pepsi? Chris Lamb, one of our stagehands, said to me the other day. I was complaining about how I ate too much too late. I have a, a oh. 7:30 p.m. bedtime. Oh. Um, and I was eating real heavy, delicious food. And he's like, Oh no, no. What you have to do? You just pop a, you pop a Pepsi, uh -huh. and then you eat. And then you go and to sleep, it, and then it'll combat all of your issues. Immediately. And you, you have your peaceful night's rest because Pepsi has helped yes. you do that. Yes. Once you get yeah. a certain age, you need to carry that in your purse with your lip gloss. <laughs> 30 and your... over. You yes. never thought about that in your 20s. And then you yeah. get no. like, I'm 35, and I'm like, OK, where's my Pepsi? Right. Uh, where's my, my, you know, my other medicine? Yes. Because you need it. But yeah, also, you, you know, it. It, you're a chef. So yes, this is, you it's not, really. It's not like you're not going to cook and eat. Yeah. Oh, I do it all day. I do it for a living. I mean, right. I'm not complaining, but right. I mean, I need things like Pepsi <laughs> right. because how, it, how can I do going. my how can I keep my job? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, in addition to all this stuff, your cookbook yes debuted last fall, a New York Times bestseller. Oh, excuse me. Oh us. my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Huge. you. You grew up in the South. Yes. Uh, you two have something else mm -hmm. in common. She didn't grow up in the South. I didn't grow up, but I lived for four years. Okay. In Charleston, South Carolina. So talk to us about how this, I mean, it, I can, I have nothing bad to say about the place. It introduced me to seafood. Yes. Um, it, talk to us about the influence it had on your cookbook. I mean, Charleston, South Carolina is my home. Mm. I was born and bred there. And I mean, I knew that, because I grew up in the, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, the Gullah background. Uh -huh. The Gullah, uh -huh. oh, so, yeah, so the Gullah people, so I'm of Gullah yeah. descent. Get out of here. Yes, and Fantastic. so my grandmother and my, my great-grandmother taught me how to cook, and my mother as well, and they never wrote recipes down. Mm -hmm. And so the only way that I could preserve my culture and my heritage was to write this cookbook. Yeah. So all of the recipes that have lived in our family just by word of mouth now have a place to live. And so that's how it in influenced that, oh. that cookbook, yeah. Thank goodness for you, because I think there's so many cultures where, you know, your abuela or your grandmother or your yeah. auntie writes something and you're like, I yeah. don't know, is it a uh, teaspoon, time is it a cup? Is it a right, right. What? And you just have to like listen to the little whispers in there, like, but it's easier now when you have something written down. It needs to be written down. To this yeah. day, I asked my mom for the meatball recipe. My mom's 100% Italian. She's like, oh, I don't know. I, I, a dash you know, of I, yeah, I don't, I'm I, it's in my, that, it's in my brain. I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna have to make them and ship them. Yeah. Um, so everybody else knows you yeah. from your show, Delicious Miss Brown on the Food Network. Yeah. How many seasons? It's in the eighth season. Yeah. Oh That's incredible. Uh, so the show features cooking, but it's really centered around the connection with your family mm -hmm. and your friends yeah. through meals, which we talk about all the time on this show. Yeah. There's nothing that a good company and a good meal can cannot, fix. cannot fix. Absolutely not. I mean, that's that's mm. why I do what I do for a living is because it's my family. It's it's everything that my life is about. It's not. It's no. It's no frill. It's yeah. no. I mean, it's really my life. It's my yeah. family on the Sea Island, and it's all the food that I've loved and 
grew up eating. I mm. love it. Yeah. You're just showing a shot of you and your enormous family. I don't even know if yes. these people are related to you. Yeah. Some of them are just family pretending. family and friends, you know, but like in the South, everyone's your cousin. Everyone's yeah, your cousin. Oh everyone God. is yes. a cousin, and that's what I actually call Listen, everyone. we had yeah. a show dedicated to Puerto Ricans on Friday. I said, I, I promise you they all know each other or they know of each other. <laughs> she was and not lying. Some way. Very you have some true. exciting news because, what, wait, there's more exciting news to tell us about. Oh, okay, so there's several things. Um, I am a judge on Spring Baking Championship that, yes, yes. <laughs> So Heck that's yes. really cool, yeah. I mean, I, Food Network keeps me busy. And so I have that. I may have something coming to a really uh, big retailer very soon that uh, you could pick up in a frozen aisle. Excuse maybe. you. Yeah. <laughs> never you never are busy. cooking something, I need to try it. Yeah. I will oh, oh, it. you'll be able yeah. to try it. That. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm just being transported back to my mm -hmm. time in, in South Carolina. I'm smelling the smells. Yeah. I can oh, taste it. I'm, yeah. I love this. We're going to have to chit chat after the break. Congratulations gotcha. on all the things. Thank you oh, so much. Such a pleasure Thank meeting you. Having a wonderful time Thank at the you. event tonight. Oh, absolutely. Take your Pepsi or leave one because apparently we get Ajita here. And you know, Chris Lamb, don't, don't, we, we know there's three of them here, okay? <laughs> uh, and the 36th annual Chef's Tribute to City Meals on Wheels is tonight, 7 p.m. at Cipriani South Street. Oh, they were Very fancy pants. Oh, they're doing it up big. Only the best for Chef Cartier, right? That's right.